it's unboxing time yet again. Okay, guys, I got me another haul from SBC. Are you ready for it? I'm always ready for it. Okay. I kind of know what's in here. I kind of don't because you can see it's still everything still it's in its packages, right? So let's just open stuff. Okay, well, this is the part of the show where I get a new package in the mail and I just leave it on my table until I can get to it and share it with you guys. Because you all have let me know you're kind of here for the unboxing. So the things that I'm getting, this is from scrapbook.com. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this. And it's obviously craft room supplies, scrapbook supplies. It's just some good stuff. So this guy here, yes, we are getting to him. We're almost there, we're almost there. Ta-da! All right, what is it? Let me move the box and we'll get back to the rest of the fun box stuff here, <laughs> box stuff here in a minute. This is what is now affectionately known as the small envelope storage. I had to go and grab some of my small envelopes. These are 4.75 by 4.75 envelopes. I use primarily to store some of my smaller dies. And now they have a home to be stored in. I had them in another container before, which worked out okay. See my tabs, my tabs are in there. And what's great about this too, okay, back to the envelopes for a second, because I do get lots of questions. How are you storing stuff? This is obviously, my tabs. I have large ones in here and the small ones in here. So I like to cut up the packaging that is part of the die package. And so I still have what it is. And then typically, I didn't do it this time, I did it here. Typically what I'll do is I'll keep both sides and I get double storage that way. So this is going to be great in this space. And I was just, I was just getting ready to re, to reorganize my dies. Seriously, I need to, there's a bunch of them and I'm not caught up on getting them organized. So I need to do that. Now, as I am sharing this with you, I went and grabbed, some of these are pretty full. These are alphas here that I have, and I'm actually going to, I'm getting ready to do something different with my alphas, but I went and grabbed some more of the envelopes because I want to see uh, how many can we get in here. And uh, I think quite a few. Now I still got room in here and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are in here with room. I'd say easily two more maybe three more. So we're talking then 36 pouches. That's a lot of dies, guys. And that rhyme, did you like that? So now this particular unit is right now on sale during scrapbook.com's uh, storage and organization sale. I just went and peeked. And if you're, if you're watching it this, the week, this, I'm recording this the second week of August and it's $7.99. Um, that is a great deal for storage. Oh, I'm so, oh wow. We're going to have a late night tonight. Cause now I'm super, now I'm super inspired to get some of this reorganized again. Okay, let's see what's next. Here's the thing, I already know because I kind of peeked in here a little bit. There's another little organizer thing, so let's get that out. Whew, all right, I'm gonna get this unpacked. It looks like the same thing, huh? But it's not. You know why it's not? Because it's different. You know why it's different? Because it's bigger. This one is the medium envelope storage organizer. And so I'm gonna grab my medium envelopes here in a minute and let's chat about them. All right, I got this baby all opened up and the medium envelopes measure 8.75 by six. I have used these envelopes again for dies, which I'm probably gonna do now because I really do need to get some of my larger dies organized. But I've used them for dies. I've used them for paper collections. I've used them for tidbits. I've used them if I've pre-cut, pre-made things. These are a great way to hold these. And you know, here's the thing. These great organizers just look super lovely on a shelf. And if 
envelopes aren't quite what you want to organize them, I'm sure we could find some other things to put in here to organize. And you might just want to stay tuned to this channel to find out about that. Okay, back to the box. These are brand new 9 by 12 page protectors. And so I wanted to take these out of their package and talk about them because there's a couple different kinds here. And this is what this is what's super lovely about these 9 by 12 is that they're panoramic. So you have these great, this one here, if you can see this, I'm gonna grab a piece of paper just so you can maybe see this better. Um, this here, you have two, and maybe you can't see it better. <laughs> okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, this is two four by sixes, and these are two four by sixes, and then you have three six by fours. And then you have all this real estate here on the other side. For those of you who are all about the 9x12 albums, which I see a lot of people out there using them and they're doing some beautiful work, I just gotta say. All right, here's another one. And okay, this is cool. Can you see this? Yes, you can. I'm gonna show it to you with this little reflection here. You have three in a row here that are six by four, six inches wide, four inches tall. Then you have this whole panel of these three by fours. Oh, that's so fun. Great configurations. All right, so watch to see what we do with that. Wait, I have another one. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, no, there's not more. I just confused myself. Ignore me. Okay. While we are chatting about page protectors. Oh, my goodness. I wish I could tell you how happy I am to see these, but I, I wish they would have just been here just a little sooner, but I can't tell you that part. Okay, and again, we have four different configurations here. Four, yes. Let me open those up and share those with you. Okay, so I got four brand new six by eight, 10 pack page protectors, pocket page protectors. Okay, we're gonna look at this. This is again, now this is a six by four um, stacked. And then you have two three by fours, that panoramic out, very cool. Then you have another panorama, which is all three by four pockets. Of course, obviously the other side, hence the pocket part. Okay, I'm gonna save my favorite is to last. Then you have this, I'm gonna say this is a three by three. I think this would be a three by three. I didn't measure it. You know, I could measure it. There's an idea. Here we go, here we go. Nope, four, of course, four by four. So you have two four by four pockets, right? Then you have these two by two pockets all the way down, which I adore the two by two, which brings me to my favoriteest. I've been waiting for these to be available for the scrapbook.com six by eight albums. And now we have it. We have these two by two windows, which I really, really do adore. I get, a, I have a lot of fun with these. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. And just in time for us to start thinking about our December albums, because I do use a six by eight album for my December albums. And so the, the, these are in, can't wait, can't wait. All right. Let's rattle around some more paper. Looking forward to sharing this with you all too. There's some good, good stuff in here. Stamps. All right, we're just gonna go through each one of them. We can get a little bit closer here since our actual boxing is finished. Okay, we have brand new to the shop, Trusting Verses. Be strong and have a good courage, be, af be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you whithersoever you go. I love that verse. I love that verse so much. Um, to set up on high those that be low, to those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Job 5.11. Beautiful verses. I can think multiple ways to be using that. Then we have these uplifting verses. First, we have Psalms 28, seven, the Lord's my strength, my shield, my heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. Beautiful. And then we have this lovely handwritten font here. Proverbs 3, six, excellent verse. And all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Oh, Word Fetty is back in the house. Can you see all the Word Fetty? This is called Sunny Days. How lovely. I I am a fan of Word Fetty for so many reasons. Then we have Word Fetty Fa La La, obviously a holiday mix here. These are great. Um, just a couple different a little bit different ones. We have most wonderful time. Love that. Oh, come let us adore him. 
good. Blessings to you. What a wonderful sentiment. Um, Feliz Navidad and making spirits bright. Okay, hope you've hope you've been good. That's a good one. Faith, hope, love. All right, great, fun. Some unique little sentiments here. I'm gonna be using that a lot. Okay, this is part of the. Oh no, I thought it was something else. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, hang on. High fall. Oh wow! Look at the hand lettering. It in that big old high. Oh, this is good. All the little, those are kind of like their own little word fetties, huh? Oh my word. We, I can't, okay, now super excited for gratitude albums. What about you? Oh yeah. Okay. Now they, they being the scrapbook.com people, <laughs> sneaked these um, on a recent live on their YouTube channel. This one's called Wildflowers. It's a very, very beautiful set. I love this so much. I think a person would, who is a florally kind of person, which I can be. I am actually. I just really am. These are going to be great for spring, summer, and fall. And, you know, winter, if you live in a warmer climate, climate of course. And then rose blossoms, which is beautiful. I love that. Oh, this is good. I like these berries. This could be very wintry, this little berry thing here going on. And roses are a good, actually a good winter uh, floral theme too. Okay, one more thing. Feel better sentiments. These also, I should have these cut out. I'm going to cut these out for you guys. Um, these are also in a beautiful font. I'm going to cut these out and share these with you. All right, so cut these cut up. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies in this new set. That's called that's called Feel Better Sentiments. I'm seeing these play so nicely with these new floral stamps and even the new sentiment stamps. And um, you have Have Courage. Um, I just want to show you too just how beautifully they cut out. They're just lovely. And then there's Feel Better. I know I'm kind of gushing over them, but I just, I love dyes. I love dyes. I use them all the time. They are just the workhorse in my studio. And then when I have really good sentiment dyes that I can just automatically imagine how I would use them, I just get a little giddy. So it's me being giddy. Then there's Feel Better. Then there's Stay Strong. And then there's Hope. And of course, you could mix these and have Hope. You could do Courage all by itself. Um, I would I would have fun using the stay better because I do know people in my life who I just need them to stay better. <laughs> and strong could be used on its own or obviously with the stay strong. So that is a look at this unboxing. And you're going to see all of these new products put to work here. Whoops, I forgot one more. This is the new silicone mat. It's got this grip factor on both sides. And it's it's a silicone, it's actually a food grade. So if you use silicone in your kitchen, this is safe for food. Um, it cleans up easily, as I can just tell already. Just if, if it's anything like the previous mats that we've had, it's gonna clean up wonderfully. I've had really good luck with scrapbook.com's mats and their clean factor. And then you can heat it too. And it's, it's going to resist heat up to, I think, about like 475 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is the double stick mat and everything. If you have any questions, if you'd like to see something demonstrated, I, you know what? I am open for suggestions. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the comment box. And as always, I will see you in the next video.